Hey everybody, it's hard to believe, but it is that time of year again. We're back at MegaCon Orlando. We've got our badges. Also, by the way, thank you to MegaCon Orlando for hooking us up with media passes for today. But we've activated our badges. We've downloaded the FanGuru app to stay up to date. And we're gonna head in. The first thing you see on the left as you come in, actually the first thing you see is Carmen San Diego. I already found her, so it's game over for the weekend. But right next to Carmen San Diego is the exclusive merchandise for this year. We've got variant comic covers, unpainted Bob Ross pop figures, a host of t-shirts, and some DC statues. And then they have Mickey exclusives this year. That's right. There's a special Mickey event happening on Saturday night here, hosted by Joey Fatone, the reunion of the Mickey Mouse Club. You can see that there's different versions of this vinyl Mickey. You have the regular, the Icon Gold, Mini, Shiny black and white, we've got hats, and Megacon lanyards. And now we're heading in the second entrance of the entrance. Now Megacon actually opened up on Thursday this year. Two o'clock for VIPs, four o'clock for regular guests. And we missed yesterday's happenings, but yesterday's happenings included a panel with the cast of Boy Meets World. Today's big event that we're gonna see later is a reunion of the cast of Back to the Future, including Michael J. Fox, he's in the house. The first booth that's jumping out at us today is this Ripley's Believe It or Not exhibit, so we're gonna check this out and see what they have inside. It's a real two-headed calf skull. Look at that two-headed bird. This is a tire art baby elephant made up of tires. It's literally an Iron Maiden. This is a human hairball. Created by Ohio hairdresser Stephen Warden, who's been collecting hair from his clients for years. This is 125 pounds and growing. Matchbox art. This art, it's pretty exciting. Exciting. I can't take credit for that. It's a vampire killing kid. Indiana Jones bullwhip and Han Solo's blaster. This is the gun from Return of the Jedi. It's the DL-44 blaster. We were hoping to pick up a replica this weekend. That's awesome. Egyptian mummies. It's a dinosaur egg and an Allosaurus core. Shrunken heads. Saber-toothed tiger. A tortoise pierced by a hippo? The actual Back to the Future 2 hoverboard. Ah! They have a lightsaber photo op. This prop was used in the original Star Wars films. Here's Luke Skywalker's original lightsaber. A wooden scooter? And a beaded fertility... And a beaded fertility... And a beaded fertility figure. And last but not least, an African hate god. Now we're going to start looking down aisles and aisles and aisles of geeky goodness. And we found at one of our favorite booths every year, Arsenal Models. Look at all these props. We have Rose's heart. Pazuzu. The mummy key. And here's the gun. It's 150 bucks though. That is a lot of money. They have Jin Erso's pistol. They actually have Cassian's pistol also, but it looks like they sold it already. These items go quick. Jango Fett, Leia. They also have the Indiana Jones Staff of Ra headpiece. I kind of need that for the collection. And the Grail. Now this booth also has a ton of stuff for shows that some of the audience may not actually remember. But Space 1999, huge favorite of mine growing up. Classic Batman props. We've picked up this Fortress Crystal in the past. But then there's a couple of things here that just blow my mind. Freddy the Flute from H.R. Puffin stuff. And Romancing the Stones replica. Guys. Brokered a deal. I got that DL44 blaster and the Staff of Ra. I am so stoked. Swords, swords, and more swords. They legit have a trailer for Crocs. Wild Bills is here with the craft soda. You buy a cup, refill the whole weekend. Oh, they're selling the gigantic Jabba sail barge, as well as the Star Wars land speeder for kids. Remember that land speeder was clearance down at Toys R Us for like 40 bucks at one point, but the sand barge. Holy bejesus. It's great to see actual comics at a Comic-Con. I love it. FYE has a booth here. Look at that Reptar. That's awesome. So many people, and it's not the busiest of days yet. Is that a ditto? Stan Lee still has a booth here. Got some items signed by Stan. The Mickey Mouse Club 30th anniversary has a booth here too. 
We're gonna get some items, t-shirts, water bottles, coffee mugs, bags. At the Marvel Comic Book Jewelry Booth, 20% off everything. Look at this Groot. They have all these other jewelry items here. They have your choice between Thor weapons. I'd go Stormbringer. Here's Vader's Vault lightsabers. There's actually three different lightsaber vendors at Megacon this year. That's awesome. So, we just met Stan Lee. Yeah. Apparently he's not dead. Bootlegs, one of the best part of cons. We're walking through. <laughs> we are walking through the tattoo area. Let's do it. Do it. At the Headlock booth, they have some really awesome artwork. All elite, all in. Check out the villain, Marty Scroll. We're stopping by T Turtle without Mary. This is her favorite store to buy shirts. I'm surrounded by idiots. I have this shirt. Johnny Five is alive with Skeletor. Johnny Five is alive. And this is Kenny, he made Johnny Five. What's he made out of? PVC and foam. How long did it take to make him? Uh, it took me a week. Oh, that's not too bad. He's static, static at the moment. <laughs> He'll move, we can add animation. <laughs> NASA's here as well, handing out some goodies. Public affairs free meatball stickers, ground systems development. Oh, oh, Godzilla. Godzilla, king of the monsters. I can't wait for this movie. Let's take a look at what other goodies Tamashi Nations has to offer. Starscream, Optimus. Oh lord, these are awesome. Look at these tiny Gundams. And for some reason, Triple Zero in the back. He is in the wrong set. Oh yeah, baby. Mecha Godzilla. Are you kidding me, dude? Super Mecha Godzilla, Mecha Godzilla, 1962 Godzilla, the best of the bunch in my opinion. Oh my goodness. Jess just asked, where's Kazuki? <laughs> I don't know. We need a Mothra. No, I don't have anything Super Saiyan. So you have these Shogun Star Wars mashups. We have this figure at home. I talked about it in a video where we showed our collection off. I love these very much. And they got this really awesome Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson figures. Street Fighter back there in Mortal Kombat. The Rebel Legion is here. Falcon cockpit is here and Kylo Ren is inside of it. You can take pictures inside. $20 a person, $60 for a family of four, or the snow speeder. You can take a picture with the land speeder, or ray speeder. We got a Death Star corridor, R2. The Emperor is here too, why not? He's back, you know. Florida Garrison, Fiber First. Uh, 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 uh. You can take a picture with Aunt Peru and Uncle Owen. Just a little toasty. It's a little warm in Florida. The Mercs are here too. Let's watch this screen. 2B1. He's looking at me. I'm looking at him. He's got a fisheye view. The Ghostbusters are here. They've got their proton packs. And a spirit containment unit. 
Got the Pizza Planet truck over here. Lady shirts. Creature's pretty awesome. I like the Spidey shirt too. One of the worst, greatest games of all time. Hill Valley. Here's the DeLorean travel experience. We've done this before in the past with cosplay characters. Here's Biff. I got a double sandwich for him right here. Hey! What are you laughing at? Looking at laughing at you. Hey! You're a butthead. You have a crease from here to here. <laughs> it's like better than We've got Dave Tennant. Batman video. <laughs> I don't know about that, Dave Tennant. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> While we're shooting video of Jim in the Batmobile, this is Holly, by the way. Hi! Part of Gypsy Nation. Yep. Holly, Big fan. Probably our most famous fan? Maybe? No, Jim is. Jim? Yeah. Okay. He drew Catwoman. Well, Jim drew Catwoman, uh -huh. but in our house, Sabrina's. Oh, so. okay. In his house. Yes, in our house. Yeah. It's our house. Yeah. Jess is starstruck now. Yeah. Holly's in the Batmobile now, though. Whoa, look at all these helmets from Halo. This is the 405th Infantry. Mrs. Pettigrew's. There's so much stuff. It would take weeks to show you everything that is here. They have some different types of lounge fly bags that I haven't seen before. That's Mike with one eye. I think it's Sally. Oh man, I love that door bag. Very cool. Toys, three for ten bucks in bins. What? Here's a Tom Glavin starting lineup. It's Mark McGuire. Cal Ripken Jr.'s Orioles uniform. We've moved into the artist area. We made our way over to Jim and Holly's booth. Let's check out some of their artwork from Broadsword. My second favorite redhead. So Holly's drawing Jess and Sabrina, sketching it out. Back to the Future panel tonight. We're getting online for that. We got Christopher Lloyd, you got Leah Thompson, Michael J. Fox, you got the hoverboard, you got the self lacing sneakers, you got Biff. The line for Back to the Future is gigantic, but there is actually a semblance of order to this line. I've been to many other conventions where it's just nuts when doors open for panels, but this one's working very well. By God, there's a few people in this place. Just a couple. Let's go down this way. We're going down here. This is our view. It is packed in here. And unfortunately, it's one of the rooms that don't have stadium type seating, so very difficult to see except for screens.
guess too soon. It did unfortunately close down. I know. Guys, let's remember the memories we made. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. when he was born, but he has electrical implants that aren't quite right. So my, my, my jaw would start like this. And then, and then, uh, then Buford had the lowest voice, which was sort of like uh, Lee Marvin in Men Who Shot Like a Mouse, which is really lazy in your face. I'm like a slut. Hey, and fly. So, so it was really like, hey, you fly, and you fly, and you fly. <laughs> Goes to London. <laughs> when you've seen that, you 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 the fan. <laughs> and when I went to London, she was crappy to me. I was in love with my family. I loved her. It was fantastic. But I was just off the window. Was off on. And then I get calls from from the stage when you're in the big film of the big world. And I'm saying, nah, nah. I said, you you don't know. This film is gonna be huge. I said, hey, hey, I'm sorry, I'm very nice. I knew it was in my own better next time. I don't think I'd done anything worthwhile. And then I came back here. I remember driving by the Sitting Around Dome you know, in, in, in Los Angeles on Sunset Boulevard. And there were lines around the dome. And, and I just I, I didn't want to. I had blocks on my panic. But it was just an amazing experience. And I'm really grateful for it. How many people have come up to me since this film was open, including today, and said that they became an engineer, uh, an astrologist, whatever, you know, uh, an astrologist. Astrophysicist? Astrophysicist. I mean, or doctors have come up and said that growing up watching this film, affected me this way or that way, or I became this or that. I think that's extraordinary. Um, I mean, I've done some other films, whatever, but I'm not aware of any film that has had that kind of an impact on people who impress, a film that impressed people that way, and may not want to do something creative and give it back, you know? I've always had this desire to put good in the world, to create something good to make the world a better place. And I think that this movie did that and still continues to do that. I think in an entertaining way, it still shows you about love, about friendship, about making the right decision, about grabbing your moment and holding on to it. And that's my greatest dream, you know, to put good into the world. You know, you guys are all so awesome and to be here, and, and that's my last word. I'm grateful to have been part of something that makes the world a better place and gets to touch you, and you get to touch all of us in, in your reciprocity here. So that's my thing about Back to the Future, and I'm endlessly grateful. Love you. I love this adventure, and, and I do this adventure, and when I do, Back to the Future, uh, and, and, and well, in the movie Back to the Future, I love the love of Marty. Is Marty just a reporter? He's just, he's just, he's just there to react to whatever he does, and then behave in some way that communicates the audience and how they might feel. And, and I'm, I'm a fan of the guys playing in the movie, and, and there's all these amazing people. Look at my job, amazing. I mean, you know, you see Chris Lloyd, you just have to sit there, and, and he does it. Magical, and, and so I've learned that in my life that I go out on these adventures, I just have to see things and learn about them and experience them. And then maybe I'll have a way to reflect on that type of people and I'll have an effect. And, um, and it's been that way with, with my work and, and with 
I work in other areas, and, and uh, um, this has been it's all about peace. I don't think I would be doing this effort I'm doing now uh, with the scientific research if I if I if I had had these other experiences in, in life and, and just with, with what this gives you, the opportunity this gives you to make a difference, to have impact on people's lives. It's really, it's really tremendous honor. That was awesome. Very poignant. And now this. Ant-Man, for some reason, not shrinking down and riding an ant back to his car. That would seem to be the easier way. Fly, Ant-Man, fly. There we go. Good night, Deadpool. Well, we are back home. That concludes day one of Megacon. Thanks very much to Jim and Holly for spending so much time and hanging out with us. That was super cool today. I feel like today was kind of an appetizer. We got to see a little bit of the con floor. We got the Back to the Future panel. There's so much more to delve into. We're going to spend a full day there tomorrow from opening until close. We've got more stuff to see on the floor. We've got more panels to go to. We've got some exhibits to see. I hope you guys come back. We're going to have a bunch more stuff to show you. And like I said in the beginning of the video, it's hard to believe it's Megacon time of year. So awesome. Thank you very much for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes and your comments and your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.